Characters that don't get done as much, mm. um, and I do. I do like a lot of villains, I guess. I'm kind of scared yeah, now since you pointed that out. <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness! Yeah, <laughs> uh, I do like a lot of princesses though too. Mm. <laughs> Your ratio. <I> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna write it down. I'm be interested to see like the percentage. <laughs> but I'm curious now. Yeah, <laughs> I think out of all my costumes, I only have one villain. I think the villains are misunderstood a lot. Superman! <laughs> and also, that too, everyone wants to be the superhero, so like, you got like 30 of the same character, like, I'm the villain. Yeah, I also was thinking last year for Holocaust, I made Oogie Boogie, but right when I was making that, 20 other cosplayers I follow were making it too. I'm like, okay, the one year I choose it, 20 other people, I'm like, this is cool, though. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people do the, the hoop skirts. I was like, I give you props for this, because I ended up crying multiple times sewing with burlap, because it broke my machine twice. Ooh. And then I got told by um, a judge last year at ACA, actually, I was talking to him, like, yeah, I used my machine. They're like, no, honey, you need to hand sew that. I'm like, I did. When I broke my machine, I had to hand sew the last half of it, and I had a bruise on my hand for a week. I don't think it was so worth it, though. <laughs> Oh, and if you do get a sewing machine, make sure you always clean it. Either after every costume you make, or with me right now, it has to be every piece I sew. Because it can get messy, but it saves you in the long run. And I just have the um, cheapest sewing machine available at Walmart. <laughs> like, you don't need anything super special. I do have a serger, but it was the cheapest serger that Walmart sells, so... Um, well, Amazon sells one for pretty cheap. Do they? Yeah, I think it's either a hundred or a hundred and fifty. I think I, I got mine on sale for I about a hundred. My brother that we did uh, breeze on for eighty nine dollars. I got off of Amazon. Mhm. Mm <gasps> yeah. I love it. Definitely, you don't or, have to buy a big expensive machine. No. Um, the machine that I use to make this one is my backup machine. I got it off of like a Facebook sell group. Like, get your parents, like, have them look on that. You could find sewing machines, like, brand new for 30 to 50 bucks. I found a serger that was brand new. The lady was selling it for $30. And I looked that up. It was a $158 one. Sadly, she couldn't hold it for me. And I was like, goodbye, serger. <laughs> but always check the Facebook sell groups. I think I saved um, sewing machine, like, the saved it, the tag. It pops on my phone like 20 times a day. I'm like, okay, I really gotta unfollow this tag, but now I'm like, oh, I want this sewing machine. I want this one. So I'd say another good place too, and if you ever got questions, I don't know if you're a part, it's called the Arkansas Cosplay Network. Yes. A massive group of us are all on there. Pretty, pretty much anyone you see at this con or any of the cons here in Arkansas dressed up, I guarantee you they're a part of it. We always help each other out. So if you got a question, it's your first time, you don't know what you're doing, Post it on there. Nice. People, people, if they don't know how to do it, they know someone else that can you know, show you how to do it too. Mm -hmm. That's always a good place to go. I think it was after I met you, you told me about it. Mm -hmm. And ever since I've joined it, everybody is so supportive. It helps so much. Arkansas Cosplay Network. I said it's a real great site. Like, it well, is. Like, you'll see all of us on there. We'll post pictures of what we're working on. You know. We've got like hundreds of people in the group now. So. I think it's like what? It's getting closer to a thousand now? Yeah, it's I actually so. getting closer. So somebody in that group can help you out if you got a question. <laughs> There's always someone up at random hours too. Mm -hmm. Is that the Facebook group or? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's yeah, Facebook group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it used to be a uh, Cobra. Yeah. Then we changed it. Was, were you like with it when it was Cobra? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't. No. Those were the years. I didn't yeah. know about it until you told me at uh, ACA. I was like, "There's a Arkansas group. I want to join." Yeah. But I'm so I don't happy know why though. I changed it to begin with. I think it got too confusing for people or something like that. 
Did it stand for something? Was it an acronym? It was Cosplayers Organizing Building and Rising in Arkansas, what was it called? Mm -hmm. Oh my. Yeah. I was yeah. in Arkansas Cosplay Network so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Way easier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, go on there. Like I said, we're all on there. We, we try to help everyone out. It's just a great place to ask questions. I feel like our Arkansas community has really grown in like the last year or so. Oh, yeah. Especially the past couple. Because back then it wasn't a whole lot of people. Now you go to every con, more and more people are dressing up. Mm -hmm. Like, I will admit there is some drama. But do your best. Just stay away from people that cause the drama. It's not worth it. Stay with people that are more positive, and it helps you so much more in cosplay. Because I had a friend that almost quit because of all the drama. Like, no, you can't quit. You have to do this. It's so much fun. You're amazing at it. And so I've met so many new people from that network, from the network, and just cosplaying at all these cons. As long as you're having fun. Yeah. What else gonna say? Mm -hmm. Oh, and sometimes in the group, I see people um, post sales too, like costumes yeah, for sale. Yeah, so much stuff too. Mm -hmm. And of course, if they they're not post up sale, they know other Facebook groups that'll sell or mm -hmm. more specific to a certain thing that you need. Yeah, like the the art leagues the art leagues I was talking about. Some people will actually sell those for half the price on the sales groups. Mm -hmm. And they might be like a little bit tangled, but you easily get the tangles out, and they're really nice. worth it to save half. Yes, I think my friend um, did Rapunzel, and the wig plus the West would have probably cost I think over a hundred on Arda. She got it for half that from the sales group, and the like, girl was only selling it because it was really tangled, which tangled. fits Rapunzel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, I really love her dress, but I am not about that wig. Mm -hmm. Like, it just seems like such a headache. It's, even if the braid, I know some people do the braid versus just a long blonde wig, and I think either one of them sounds horrible. Well, you see the, the color braids in it, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. I don't know how she did it. Like, just dye. The eye poly dye. Mm. I would say it. The details on her dress as well. I'm like, no, no, no. Mm. Any more questions? Oh. Doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah. What's the longest you've ever worked on a cosplay? Uh, five months. I think yeah. my princess on a dress that I did I had to hand dye and hand sew all the petals and details around the bottom is that your Hannah one? Hannah Alexander oh my gosh mm -hmm. that one is beautiful it I sat through all five seasons of mm -hmm. once upon a time while I was hand <laughs> yes. sewing all that stuff on but, but oh yeah. my gosh does it count if it's like incomplete? <laughs> <I'm> still <laughs> You're work. still no, work in progress. Still yeah, yeah, it's still working on it because I have to wait for the fabric to go on sale. I'm working on Raven from Teen Titans. I made my own gems and casted them in resin, which I saw you get excited. But if you guys want, I have the um, tutorials on how I made them on my YouTube. And it's actually really easy to make, but I. Uh, I like going cheap with fabric sometimes, but I'm waiting for Yaya Han's fabric to go on sale, just to get the... Oh, I've, every time it goes on sale, it's right when I'm broke, so I'm like, <laughs> oh! But I haven't found another fabric that I really like for her. Actually, check Joanne's, I was in there the other day, and I want to say there has some Yaya Han fabric out there. That's mm -hmm. not helping me right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll beg my dad, like, um, yeah, we need to go Giants really fast. Mm -hmm. And they're having a big fabric show right now. I'm pretty sure I saw a spot for you. But other than that, I would have to say um, maybe a month and a half for my third version of my female Jack Frost. Because I like to go extreme details on my staff and on my jacket. Mm -hmm. I do have... Um, the same designer. She's released like a teaser pic of Zelda from Breath of the Wild. And it was just like this much of her and I'm so in love with it and I've been waiting two months for her to post the rest of it. And I can't believe I'm going to do that to myself again because her designs are so detailed but 
They're just so beautiful. I can't help it. I understand <laughs> that. I have one cosplayer that I follow. She's inspired me to work even harder now because she's cosplayed so many characters from my childhood. I'm like, I need to do that one. I need to do this one. And she has patterns out for all of them. Hmm. Like we were saying earlier about um, certain cosplayers will have their own patterns and some of them will um, do physical packages but most of them are PDF. If you're able to I say get the physical because it helps a lot more because I think the PDF can be a pain in the butt sometimes. This is actually um, Riddle's bodysuit pattern. I don't know if you guys follow Riddle. She also like takes care of baby squirrels. She's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then this was the um, Once Upon a Time Evil Queen pattern. <laughs> oh, nice. It's got craft foam in it to make it stand out. I hate interfacing, what? so I, I used craft foam. Oh, I hate interfacing too. Uh -huh. What's interfacing? Um, you like sew it um, into your fabric to make it stiffer, mm -hmm. but um, it's you have to buy it by the yard and like I have this stuff everywhere so well actually I got some for I got five yards for 49 cents <gasps> a yard Joanne's had a huge sale I missed it <laughs> that's how I got all I have my to fabric drive, I have to drive an I hour though to get to Joanne I bought it online I was like 49 cents a yard hmm do I need this right now no but I will get this I for the done future the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the fa your favorite costume that you worked on or that you enjoy wearing? That's hard. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna go through them all real quick. <laughs> oh man, that's hard. Like I really like Hippolyta, but I can't sit down in it. Mm -hmm. Uh I learned a lot while making that. I made the torso all one piece and it goes past my hips. So when I try to sit, it does not work at all. Oh, I remember <laughs> seeing you sitting in that. I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, yes. Uh, but um, just all, that's the biggest foam project I've done and it was just so much fun. fun. I don't know if you guys work with um, craft foam at all, but you can do anything with it. Mm -hmm. um, I get mine from TNT Cosplay Supplies online. You get a pretty big roll of it for about 10 bucks, depending on how thick it is, but um, I really love it. They always send a little silver marker with it so you can mark on it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I get all free my gifts. foam I love free gifts. from Harbor Freight. I just get the mm -hmm. floor mats because mm -hmm. they have the roll one and then they have the regular ones you stack together. I'm like, ah, five bucks for this big thing. Yep, I'm getting this. I just I feel like this is easier to work with. Well, I have stuff. a thin one too. I got at Michael's. It was like three dollars mm -hmm. for one big roll. I was like, okay, it's not bad. But I need I need to check out TNT though. Mm -hmm. But I have three favorites. I have to say Oogie Boogie is my number one favorite to wear. You know it gets really really warm too. Because that burlap was a pain. It gets really warm. I don't know if you can see it from there. And then I'd have to say my Jack Frost and my Naruto. Mm. This is the nostalgia. <laughs> oh, I cry almost every time I wear it. I'm like, I'm finally wearing my dream cosplay. I'm finally wearing it. <laughs> you have any dream cosplays that you haven't done? Oh, man, I got a huge list. I have um, the, Han, the Hannah Alexander artwork of San from Princess Monoke. It's a huge armor build too. And I'm currently working on Kiki, like I was saying, that's another dream cosplay, because that movie means a lot to me. And oh, I can't think of the rest right now. Mm -hmm. There's a huge list. Like you say, no, we all have dream ones. Mm -hmm. Yes, another villain. <laughs> uh, it's actually what I had planned for this one, but I didn't think I could do it in three weeks. Um, I'll do a Morden Joe from Mad Max Fury Road. 
I've planned it out three times now for a con, and I keep having to push it back. Mm -hmm. And I will do it this year, hopefully. <laughs> it, the armor on that one is clear, so I'm a little bit nervous about mm -hmm. trying to make that work. If you don't get stuck in other groups. No. I'm not doing a feminine version, though. I'm doing as close as I can get to the original. Now that's that's mostly me. I love doing female versions of guy cop guys. <laughs> that's like my one thing I love doing. Mm -hmm. I think I have like three other female versions of different characters coming soon. I'm like, okay, I gotta work on these. <laughs> oh, I also am a huge Wasp fan. And I am so excited about the new movie, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to make her outfit as soon as it's over. But I know a lot of people like try to m have stuff done before the premiere, but I just can't seem to do that. I have to make sure the movie's good and that I like the character, <laughs> or they're not going to die in the first five minutes. And I'm, it's like a uh, proxim, well, I shouldn't oh, say. Oh, have you guys oh. seen Infinity War? Hmm. No. Okay. Uh, that movie broke. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> well, like I can say her name because I don't know if they say it at all in the movie. Um, but one of the female characters in that, I thought she had a pretty cool costume, and I was excited to learn more about her. But I still don't know much. She she doesn't die in the first five minutes. So. <laughs> no, okay, no. <laughs> It was always hard to get costume right before the premiere because I did my crossbones. I mean, you've mm -hmm. seen it. And I actually did it before the premiere and caught the man who blew the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. My goal this year was to actually get a Star Wars costume before the mm -hmm. new one came out, but then I'm like, now I don't have time. Which one? I was just going to do a random one, mm -hmm. probably, or try to do Ray. Mm -hmm. I, I really want to work on Star Wars cosplays because Star Wars was a huge part of my childhood. So I'm like, I have to get costumes done. Mm, I also really want to do Princess Ariel. She's my favorite princess, and I've been, like, designing it kind of for a couple years, but I don't want to do it until say, it's perfect. That's a dream cosplay of mine, but I want her tail. Ooh. I want to make her tail, and I'll be able to swim in it, though. I'm thinking half dress, like half armor, but I'm not real yes. sure yet. Pretty much all my other ones are. I only <laughs> cosplayed her once, and that was for Heroes and Angels. That's because Jade let me wear her costume. I remember that. Mm -hmm. And that made my day. Because she's obviously the best princess, so just <laughs> waiting for the perfect time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got good taste. <laughs> hmm. I say that's hard though for the princesses because I do have princess cosplays I really want to do but then I'm like I want to go all out and be really extra with them and add all these sequins add all these beads and I'm like no I don't have time for that but I really want to do that mm -hmm. I really really love uh, Giselle too not many oh, people yes. cosplay her I feel like she's very looked over Any other questions? I appreciate you guys coming. I wasn't yeah. expecting this many people. <laughs> I don't know how you want to do this. I'm not sure. We were going to do like a prank giveaway, but I, um, we didn't plan it out very well. <laughs> we didn't. Yeah. Do you have an app on your phone? The like a random number one? You can just type it in random number generator, I think. Okay. We'll pick a number between one and fifty. Anybody else? We got two back there. <laughs> All right, ready? Yes. You watching so it's legit? 35. 
Yeah, All right, come pick one. Yeah. And we got four of them, so we'll play again. <laughs> we also have our cards, too, if you'd like to get one of those. No pressure, but... Oh, yay! That has to be my favorite. <laughs> oh, thanks. This is why she cosplay villains. <laughs> okay, let's try again. 43. Anybody close? 48? Anybody closer than that? 42? I think 42's got it. <laughs> All right. Two more. One. Where'd she go? Where'd she go with the number two? She had to okay. okay. You guys want to pick one for her? <laughs> Business cards if anyone needs one. It's where to find me on the internet. All right, last one, and you're stuck with my Bowser picture. <laughs> 46. All right. <laughs> We still got ten minutes. If you got any last questions, <laughs> really appreciate you guys coming. Yes, thank you guys. Be sure to stop by our booth and have the uh, Iron Throne set up for you to take pictures on. I'll actually be wearing um, a Game of Thrones cosplay tomorrow, so I don't know who I'm wearing tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have to choose very, very carefully. Mm -hmm. This brace is not helping me. Yeah. <laughs> I want to wear so many, but I'm like, can't because I have to wear this. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you for asking questions.